morning. We'd like to welcome you in Jesus is Lord Church Sherwood Park. You are welcome today and uh, we are happy that you are joined to us and once again join us in worshiping and experiencing God's uh, move this afternoon as we hear his word. I pray that everyone are able to celebrate your new year. Amen. And able to thank God for what he has done for each and every one of us. And this afternoon, pwede niya bang bigyan muna ng high five yung katabi nyo? Baka hindi nyo pakalala yan. Happy New Year. Can we say Happy New Year? Arise and build. Yon. Praise God. Today, allow me to share the message of God, which me personally was so uh, been impressed by the message of the Holy Spirit. And this message able me to realize that God is not yet done in our lives. Hindi pa po tapos ang Diyos sa atin. Do you agree with me? Marami pang gagawin ng Diyos. Maybe some of you last year, you were so overwhelmed with the blessings. Maybe some of you are still have unanswered prayer last year. But I'm telling you, it is not yet done. God is still doing greater things. Amen! Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Greater things. Not small things, but greater things. And this afternoon, allow me to share the message of God, which I entitled, Make Way for Greater Things. Meron atang cartoons sa Make Way, Make Way. Ano bang kanta yun? Moana. Make Way. You know what, when you say make way, meaning you have to give your full attention because breakthrough and blessings are now coming. Amen? When you say make way, meaning you are attentive, you are listening, you are capturing the message of God. And that is why I want you to have full brace yourself. Sabi mo sa katabi mo ko, wag mo kong istorbuhin. I'm making way for great things today. Amen? Shall we give our hand to the Lord? Ibig pong sabihin, today I want you to listen carefully. Maybe you are young people, a man, a woman, a single parent, or probably still single. I believe God is making way for you this 2023. Amen? Can I hear shout an amen? Praise the Lord. This month of January, our theme is Arise and Build, a Hope-Filled Tomorrow. Can we read it loud? Pwede niyo ba akong sabayan? Sabi po dito, Arise and Build. Para hindi kayo nag-arise niyan. Pwede niyo bang bigyan natin ng power? Arise and Build. A Hope-Filled Tomorrow. This is what they called an expression of faith that you are expecting more by expecting more of what God has done for you last year God will what dwarfen the Lord will give more for this coming year the new year is full of possibilities do you agree with me in the days of 365 days things will happen taas ang kamay maganda ang day 1 niya ngayong 2023 amen ang ganda ng iba yung ngiti eh, no so, pas, ang ganda ng day one ko. But in 365, merong isang ilang oras pa bago matapos ang day one. We still have um, remaining hours plus 364. And no one can be assured that all 365 days will be always good. So there are a lot of full of possibilities. Amen? And because God Himself is making a way for us, even in the wilderness, but take hold, no? take hold. This great tomorrow, we need to take an action. Alam niyo po ang ganda ng pangako ng Lord sa atin ngayong month of January. Forgetting all the things which are behind. Wow, full of excitement. Haven't you seen it? I'm making good things. Puro excitement. But I want you to take hold. We need to take an action. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, galaw-galaw. Galaw, galaw. Meaning, we have to take an action. Hindi po tayo kagaya ni Juan Tamad na yung bayabas ay babagsak na lang sa bibig. At ikaw ay hihiga. Greater things need to take an action. We need to forget the former things and rise up for yesterday's sorrow. 
We need to look ahead and rise higher than yesterday's success. Kung ito yung success mo last year, kayang pataasin ng Lord ang success mo this year. Amen? So let us take what? Let us take a big step and do our part. Trusting God has already done His. Ginawa na po ng Diyos ang para sa lahat sa atin. That is why today, the title, Make Way for Greater Things, I'd like to request everyone to please rise as you join with me in reading Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19 in NIV version. And join me reading together. It says there, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making way in the wilderness and says there but forget all that forget the things or forget all that it is nothing compared sabi nga maliit na bagay lang yan yung ginawa ng Lord 2022 maliit na bagay na lang yan sa gagawin ng Lord this 2023 amen and I hope as we face the day one of 2023, lahat po tayo excited. Tingnan niyo po yung mukha ng katabi niyo kahit po yan. Excited harapin ang 2023. Amen? Give a hand to the Lord! Nawa po, wala tayong kakamustahin mamaya. Kamusta 2023 mo? Eto, sana po tayo po yung masaya, no? Punong-puno po ng pag-asa. And reading this verse in Isaiah 43, 18-19, but forget all that. Kalimutan mo na yan. It is nothing compared to what I am going. Present progressive of what I am going. Going. In process. Sa lahat po na mga panahon na kayo may struggle sa family or even yourself, you are fighting for something. God is now in the process of delivering the answered prayer. Amen? Now, we cannot change the past. Do you believe on that? We cannot change the past. But we can do something about our future. Amen? We can do something about our future. We cannot anymore repair the past. It has been done. But there's one good news. We can do something about our future. That is why the Lord changed our life. That is the Lord trying to make a new history of our life. God is a God of now. Do you agree with me? God is a God of now. Yan po yung nasa aking uh, intro. What He did for us from the past, He is ready to surpass it. Can you read it with me? God is a God of the now. What He did for us from the past, he is ready to surpass it. Kayang lagpasan ng Diyos ang lahat ng ginawa niya sa atin ngayong 2022. Pas, paano kung puro problema ako ng 2022? Dadagdagan ba niya ang problema ko? Dadagdagan ng Diyos ang kaparaan ng masolusyonan lahat ang problema mo this 2023. Give a hand to the Lord. But the question is, are we ready? Madalas po tayong tao, mas gusto lang natin mga positibo at mga magagandang pangako. Pagpangit na, ayaw na. Tunay nga naman, sino ba may gustong pangit na pangako? Are we ready to face JIL Worldwide Declare 2023? Arise and build. Arise and build. 
For the past years, we've been broken into pieces with what we call this pandemic have been done to us. At maaring yung iba hindi pa nakaka-recover. Or maybe some are still fighting for the answered prayers of their life. Kahit nakuha mo na dito ang lahat ng yaman sa Canada, o sa gana ka sa lahat ng bagay, why there's still something in your heart that is missing? But today, the Lord is ready to fulfill what He had promised that this year, all of us will arise and we will build. So taking note of our chapter or theme for the month, with our text message or text verse theme is Isaiah 43, 18-19. Let me just give you first a some historical background. Why Prophet Isaiah able to speak this through the message of the Lord? Let me give you a little bit of a historical background. So magkikwentuhan po muna tayo ng history. Maliit lamang pong history. So God is speaking to another period of the Israel. Sinasabi po ng Panginoon sa mga Israelites, Forget the things which are behind. Forget the things. Kalimutan na. You know what? I tried to research why Filipino people, based on the study of social anthropology, ang mga Pilipino daw mahirap makalimot pagdating sa bagay na sila'y sinaktan. Tama? Sampung taon na nakaraan, nakalagay pa rin sa puso. Inilibing na yung nakagalit niya, galit pa rin siya. Bakit kaya mga Pilipino ganon? Bakit kaya tayo ganon? Puri ng Lord, tayo binago na ng Lord. Amen? And I tend to realize some of the histories that before, when we were being colonized by the Span during the Spanish regime, our mouth are shut up. We're not allowed to talk and share. That's why when American came, nagkaroon tayo ng freedom, lahat ng galit hinanakit natin, lahat ng aggressions, lahat ng uh, bitterness natin, na ipahayag natin. Kaya sumobra naman. So, what I'm trying to point in this is that God is speaking to another period of Israelite. This time, they were, not, they were what? They're in exile, not slave in Egypt, but they are restricted by the Babylonians. Alam niyo po, from Egypt, nakaligtas nga sila kay Pharaoh, pagdating naman kay Nebuchadnezzar, ay eh, masyadong restricted, in chain. Siguro, pag nag-uusap-usap ng mga Israelites na ito, sinasabi nila, buti pa doon, namimiss na natin yung place natin doon. We miss our temple, we miss our strong nations, nag-scattered tayo. And the joys of their homeland, yun ang namimiss nila. Taas ang kamay nung kayo nandito sa Canada, namiss nyo ang Pilipinas. Sa Pilipinas, di ako nagaganito. Sa Pilipinas, hindi ako nagbubuhat. <laughs> di ba ho ang hirap kalimutan? Sa Pilipinas, hindi ako naglilinis. <laughs> hindi ako naglilinis ng washroom. Everything. This is the basic feelings of the Israelites after the, the, uh, after the captivity in Egypt. They went to what? Processing to the Babylonian. Na-exile sila. They were what? Restricted. They were enchained by the Babylonians. So, let me just give you a pointers of this para maintindihan niyo po mamaya why Prophet Isaiah, through Prophet Isaiah, the Lord gave this message to the Israelites to forget all the things which are behind. Minsan kasi ininterpret natin to ng literal. The Babylonian captivity or exile referred to the time period of Israel when Jews were taken captive by King Nebuchadnezzar II. It is important period po during this time because ito po yung moment na kung saan tinuruan sila ng Panginoong maghambol. Amen? And it is a time where the Lord exposed their sin and they need to repent. The Babylonian captivity is a very significant impact on the nation of Israel dahil dito nila natutunan na ang Diyos lamang ang dapat nilang sambahin. Just God has promised through Prophet Jeremiah, God judged the Babylonians. Ilang taon po? 70 years. Ang hirap pong makaptive ka or ma-enchain ka for 70 years. And because Prophet had already warned them to repent, God decided no, to exile the people to Babylonian to their sins in hope of teaching the people of lessons. Minsan, nakalulungkot, 
kapag marami na tayong reminders sa buhay, ini-expose na ng Lord yung kasalanan natin, hindi pa rin tayo tumitino, one day magugulat ka na lang. Hirap na hirap ka ng umahon sa kasalanan mo. But praise be to God, this year, ang Panginoon, ay tayo po ay ano, the Lord will give us the chance to once again rise and build ourselves for His glory. Amen? Can we give a hand to the Lord? So, ito po yung point why Prophet Isaiah, through the message, no? God has given a message to Prophet Isaiah, tell them, forget the things which are behind. So, isa-isahin po natin. Let us try to digest this verse of Isaiah. Hallelujah. Chapter 43, 18 to 19. And I go first with this word, forget the former things. Can you say it with me? Forget the former things. So what does it says? Do not allow your past experience or what we call those former things, whether good or bad, to color your perception of the present and expectation for the future. Madalas po, coming out, no? Coming out of the gate, strong, really? Kaya ba nating magkalimot? Kumal- ma- magkalimutan? Hindi, lalo kung yung nakasakit sa'yo last year lang. Makakalimutan mo ba? Hindi. Antito yan. At aminin po natin, we will not go further anymore sa loob lang ng tanghanan, sa mga mag-asawa. Karamihan po ng mga misis, tayo po'y ma-emote. Matagal na yung nangyari, babalikan natin. Kaya po tayo tinutulugan na lang. nag express ka ng galit mo, yung katabi mo, humihilik na, tulog na. So we are trying to come up with that, forget the former things, even the ones that were good. No? Even though we miss them. Nako, sabi dito ng mga Israelites, ang hirap kalimutan yung homeland namin, very strong. But honestly, it's so hard to forget. Unfortunately, we aren't able to literally forget everything. Certain joys will be revealed. Ang saya nung kami magkakasama, kaya lang, nawala eh. So God is commanding the things that is impossible, Pastora. Kahit mahirap kalimutan yan. Not everything has this power to, to think of great things, lalo na yung tao, mga naging bahagi ng buhay mo. So if we grow consumed with former things, we are able to fulfill the advantage of the present. I want you to look on this, on this quote, on this phrase that I made. Do not allow your past experience or those former things, whether good or bad, to color your perception. What happened in the past, leave it in the past. Do not affect whatever your present situation is. Because our perception and our present expectations today might affect our future. Kaya sinasabi ng Lord sa mga Israelites, kung ano man yung katigasan ng ulo nyo, kung ano man yung pinagagawa nyo, dahil mahabagi ng Diyos at mapagmahal, I will forgive you now. Let's sit down, settle it. Go forward. Forget the things which are behind. A lot of people, that's why they cannot receive any breakthrough in their lives. Dahil marami po, bit-bit-bit-bit pa rin yung nakaraan nila. Bit-bit yung, maling pagkakam- yung mga pagkakamali nila. They, they always carry their failures and mistakes, though thinking that they cannot change their life. Kaya nga sabi nila, ba't ka nun, pastora, kung, kung kailan ako nag-church, saka parang nahihirapan ako. Ang dami kong, lalo nagiging problema. Dahil binibit-bit mo yung nakaraan eh. Sino po naniniwala dito na ang Diyos ay merong binigay sa kanyang magandang bagay simula sa taong 2023? Pumalakpak po. Amen? This is the way, sight, no? Si Satan, gustong-gusto niya yung circumstances, binabalik. Satan wants to replay all the circumstances of our past mistakes, of our past failure, so that when you look at the present and the future, puno ng ano, color of blindness, nagkakaroon tayo ng color blindness. That is why the Lord says to Isaiah, tell them, forget the things, kahit na ang kukulit nila. Huwag mo nang sabihin mo kalimutan yan, magsisimula tayo ngayon. Amen? I posted this morning that God's business is doing uh, miracles and great things in our life. He is in a God of doing miracles. 
And siya po yung Diyos na lagi nagbibigay ng magandang pasimula. Amen? And I know, I don't know you exactly who you are. Maybe you are struggling in your personal life, in your marriage life, in your career, in your future. But I'm telling you, God is ready to make a big start in your life this 2023. Amen? Amen. Now, why God says forget the former things? Look at this verse. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 to 14, Paul says, I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do. Ano pong sabi niya? Pakibasa po ninyo na sabay-sabay. One, two, three. Parang lima po ata ang kausap ko ngayon. Ano po ang sabi? One, two, three. Which called me what? Heavenward. Not downward. Heavenward. So, whatever your struggles to your spouse, kung ano naging problema nyo, even to your children, that's been done already in 2022. God is laying down a new blueprint in your life, in your family, in your career, and even in the salvation of your family. Amen. Let's give a hand to the Lord. That's why when we say forget the things, forget the things, the former things, Paul is encouraging us to always press on, hold on. Kung ang problema at pagkakamali po ay makatutulong para tumatag tayo sa Panginoon, magsimula na tayong mag-alala. Kung ang pagkakamali ay makatutulong sa pagiging matatag mong kristyano, bilangin na natin lahat ng mali natin. But it's not. Even Paul says, Brothers, do not cons- I, con- I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, bakit sinasabi po ito ni Pablo, taking hold of it? Even Paul knows his weakness. Even Paul knows, minsan minumulto siya ng kanya mga past na siya mismo pumapatay ng mga Kristiyano. Nagigilty siya. And I know all of us, we committed mistake that sometimes we felt guilty, minumulto tayo ng guilt feelings. But God says, but one thing, Paul says, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind. Forgetting means, ibig sabihin ba, pastora na amnesia ako, when you say forgetting, you're starting to release all the pains. Amen? All the guilt. All the condemnation. You're starting to give it and forget it and say, you know what? These are the learning part of your life. One day I was browsing some article and there, there was one quote it said, walang maling taong dumaan sa buhay natin. Do you agree with me? Sabi po dun sa isang article, walang taong dumaan sa buhay natin na naging maling bahagi sila ng buhay natin. Lahat sila ay naging lesson sa buhay natin. Whether good or bad, do stays or do not stay, all of them are part of the lessons in life. Amen? And I believe, maging yung asawa nyo, hindi aksidenteng yan na napang-asawa nyo. Wala akong umagri. Pumalakpak po, yung naniniwala, hindi nagkamali ang Diyos na binigay po ang inyong mga asawa. Abay, New Year na New Year, ho. Bakit po nung sinabi to ni Pastora, nagtingin ang kayong dalawa? All of us, No? Kanina po habang tinitignan ko, nag-isip pa kayo. But one thing is that God, it says there, I press on toward to the goal. One thing that helped us in a rise and build team this year is to always press towards the goal. Dahil hindi po makatutulong yung nangyari last year. What, import, what is the main factor here is that press on to the goal to win the prize. And that price is not downward, it's heavenward. Kaya binibilang mo, Lord, lahat ng sakripisyon ito for your glory. Now, the second part is that do not dwell on the past. Can you say it with me? Do not dwell on the past. So the problem is not what we think about of the former things. 
but the choice to dwell on them. Hindi po masan masamang pag-isipin mo yung nakaraan. But the only thing that causes a problem here is the choice to dwell on your past. Amen! Yung pinili mong mag-dwell ka dun sa nakaraan mo, it's your choice. Sabi nga, kung pinili mong maging malungkot kaninang umaga, at hanggang ngayon maghapon, choice mo yon. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, choice mo yon. Kung choice mong sirain ang buhay mo, enjoy mo sa mga bagay na pansamantala, sabi mo sa katabi mo, choice mo yon. So if you are gonna make it, we, we have our own accountability of our choices. So the problem is not, we, it's not we think about the former things, but the choice to dwell on them. We can pick some bad experiences that we have from the past to put it as a lesson of life, but do not dwell on it. Kaya marami pong kristyano hindi maka-breakthrough sa paglilingkod because they keep on dwelling and choice to embrace their past. I like what Martin Luther said, you cannot prevent a bird from flying over your head, but you can prevent it from building a nest on your head. Galit, hinanakit, sama ng loob, choice mo yan. Ipunin mo sa isip mo, eh di gumawa ka ng ng nest ng bird sa utak mo. But if you're going to release that, God is giving you a total breakthrough. Amen? Forgiveness. You forgive people, hindi dahil utang na loob mo sa kanya, you forgive people dahil yun ang makabubuti para sa'yo. Nagpapatawad tayo dahil unang gusto natin gumaling ang kaluluwa natin. So when you forgive someone, it's for your first benefit. Why? If you will not forgive someone, sino ang walang kapayapaan? Ikaw. Yung kaaway mo, sarap ng tulog. Ikaw, galit na galit. Amen? Pas madili, mas sobrang malalim ang sugat. Napakasakit ng ginawa niya sa akin. Whatever it is, it is your choice if you want to dwell on that past mistakes. But you deserve to live a happy life. You deserve to live a peaceful life. So, I like what Martin Luther said that it is our choice if you want to build the nest of bitterness, of hatred. Amen? Dahil po hindi po nakakatulong ng haba ng buhay ang magalit at mainis. Amen? Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, we are free already. Amen? And to support this verse that do not dwell on the past, Proverbs 4, 25, 27 says, Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in your ways. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Keep your foot from evil. Yun bang ikaw ang pipili sa buhay mo? Imagine niyo po kung isa yung paa natin. Ano yung tsura natin para lumakap? Parang nagja-jumping tayo. God gave us two, two legs, two feet, so that we can see and make decisions to be balanced and everything. Now, this verse giving us a reminder that to dwell on the past is our choice. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon Proverbs 4, chapter 25, 7, Let your eyes look straight ahead. Marami pong kristyano hindi nag-grow dahil ang dami nilang tinitingnan sa paligid nila. But if you're just main focus of what God has done with you, God is now ready to deliver the breakthroughs in your life. Kapag po hindi focus ang ating mga mata, marami po tayong ginagawa, bumabagal po ang ating production. <laughs> Amen? Bumabagal po ang ating spiritual maturity. Pas maglilingkod ako, basta bigay lang to ni Lord. Alam niyo po, masarap sumunod sa Lord kapag ang prinsipyo mo, obey first and provision will come. Bakit ito kailangang umubay ka muna? Dahil gusto ng Lord, hindi sa sarili mong lakas kung anong meron ka, kundi sa lakas ng Panginoon. Then the second thing, see, I am doing new things. This praise contains two loaded fruits. 
Fully loaded truths po ito. See, I am doing new things. Ano po yan? Pwede ba natin ipakita sa slide natin? God command us to see. It's not see. Tingnan niya po. I love this verse. Sabi niya po dito, ah, See, I am doing new things. Hoy, tingnan mo, may ginagawa ng Diyos. Alam niyo po ba? Marami ng ginagawa ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Nakakalagpas lang, hindi niyo nakakita kasi busy kayo. Sabi niya sa katabi mo, aminin mo, busy ka. Amen. Tingnan niyo po mata sa mata, huwag kong yumuko. Sabihin mo, marami nang dumaan sa buhay mo, lumagpas lang, kasi busy ka. Amen? This fully loaded information, see, I am doing new things. I like this. It is a command to see. Hindi niya sinabing, look. Ay, hindi niya sinabing, please look at it. But sabi niya, see. It's an exclamation point. It is stirring up our emotion. See. I am doing new things. God command us to see. It's not see. It's a see with an exclamation point. It means God is excited and eager for us to see what He is accomplishing and how He is working. Ang Diyos excited. Kaya nga tayo minsan dumana yung pagpapala. Ay, bakit siya meron? Ako wala. Bakit? Kasi natutulog ka. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang matulog. Ha? Huwag kang matulog-tulog sa ano. Mapag-iiwanan ka. Amen? Pumalakpak po yung gusto mapag-iwanan. Salamat. Eh yung gusto makasama sa season of revival. Amen. Praise the Lord. Siguro kailangan natin to, no? Galing kasi ng New Year, mga puyat eh. Mag-exercise tayo. Ayan, nagigising na tayong lahat. Number two, powerful, fully loaded praise in see, I am doing things. Look at this. I am doing new things. It is a present active verb. Meaning active verb, ongoing. He did not want them to be what? So consumed with the past. Ayaw po ng Diyos na masyado tayong consumed sa nakaraan. Giving so much time of the past. Mahilig tayo, no? Kaya sumikat si Marites. Gusto natin talagang pinag-uusapan. Bakit nga ba yung nakaraan? Ang sarap pag-usapan. Kaya pagka nasa meeting ka, pag wala ka, lugi ka. Kasi ikaw wala. Pag-uusapan ka. No? And I realize sometimes when you got a high school reunion, but nga ba may reunion? Anong pinag-uusapan? Yung past. Yung mga puppy love, yung mga uh, nakalagay sa slam book. Diba? Ang sarap pag-usapan ng past eh. Wala akong problema to talk about the past. But the Lord says, do not be consumed so much of your past to the point that you are missing the new things. I am preparing for each and every one of you. He didn't want us to be consumed of the past, that they discounted the ways. Kaya nga, God is working for them in a very detailed circumstances. Mamaya makikita po natin yan. And the more, look at this church, the more we do not see the things God has given us, mapapansin mo, doon papasok yung jealousy, yung envy. Bakit siya ganun? Magkasabay lang kami punta ng Canada niyan eh. Bakit? May namimiss ka kasi. Ang dami mong nakikita. Young people, choices are always there. Itong struggle ng kabataan, daming pinagpipilian. That's why yung best na prepare ng Lord na miss out niya. Bakit? Ang dami mong choices na miss out mo yung best para sa iyo. Church, even us in our career, we pick up a lot of things. Wala pong masamang kunin natin ang best of the best in life. Best husband, best wife. But the best thing is that did you honor the Lord in the best choices that you have in your life? Susunod po na, yung, na gusto ko pong bigyan ng point dito is that yung Ezekiel 36.26. What is the relation of this with regards to see, I am doing new things. Sabi po dito sa Ezekiel 36.26, And I will give you a new heart and I will put a new 
spirit. I will take out your stony, mabatong puso, stubborn heart, and give you a tender, responsive heart. Alam niyo po ang mga bagay, sa mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita agad, pag mali ang puso. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, dapat tama ang puso mo. You will miss the greater things of your life this year pag mali ang laman ng puso mo. Bakit? Wala kang makikitang maganda. Have you noticed? Kapag ang isang tao ayaw mo, kahit maganda na yung ginagawa, lahat ng makikita mo sa kanya, pangit. Pangit, pangit. Ang ganda nga, hindi yung pangit na mukha. No? Meaning, even the person is doing best things for you because you don't like her. You cannot say any more good things in her. Pag mali na ang laman ng puso, hindi mo makikita mga magagandang bagay. That is why starting this year, let us train our mind to see good things in everything. Amen! Pag hindi masarap ang luto ng asawa mo, isipin mo, wow, bagong minuto. Kakaiba. Diba? Nakita mo yung asawa mo, nakalimutan yung anniversary nyo, wow, significant to, ngayon niya lang nakalimutan. You have to see greater things. Hindi ata nakakaramdam yung asawa ko. Ako na naglinis, ako na lang. Parang siya, nanonood pa rin ng basketball. Sabihin mo na lang, wow, sporty ang asawa ko. <laughs> this is the thing God wants to develop in our life today. Kapag tama po ang puso, marami kang makikita ang magandang bagay. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. And that time, when the heart is right, your heart will become responsive. Ezekiel again, 36, 26, I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit. When there is a right heart, there is a new spirit. Aalisin ng Lord ang katigasan ng puso natin. At yung mga bagay na pangit, we can easily convert it into a good things. Pastor, ang daming challenges ng family namin last year then try to stand up and see the good things of what happened last year. Amen? Pumalakpak po yung binagyo ng pagsubok last year, pero ngayon, reading tumayo at sabihin, greater things are yet to come. Amen? Now it springs up. Sabi po dito, now it springs up. Ito po yung verse natin, no? Isaiah 43, 18-19, na, we're trying to detail it. It says there, God is literally at work right now. When you say, now it springs up. Inaabangan natin after winter, ano po? Spring. Diba? Gaganda ng bulaklak. Talagang although rainy season din siya. But we are waiting to bloom all the flowers and the plants. Literally, God is moving right now. Do you agree with me? He is moving right now. And say, loved ones, God is moving right now. Challenges in the family, financial bankruptcy, God is doing right now. Not back in the past, not back in the go, uh, go, uh, bad old days, not after this season, tandaan po ninyo, when you talk about springs up, God is accomplishing His purpose. Ginagawa na po ng Diyos ito. Kanina po napakaganda, no? Let me re, uh, uh, go back from the previous uh, phrase. See, I am doing new things. Ano po yung dinugdong niya? Now it springs up. So pag tama yung puso, ma-observe mo yung mga sisibol. Amen? Mapapansin mo yung asaw mo, nagpapaganda. Napapansin mo, pinagluluto ka ng masarap. May ibig sabihin mo yun. Hindi ho nagre-react ang mga tatay. Amen? When you say, now it springs up, ibig sabihin, be excited. God is going to give new things in your life, in your family, and even to your children. Amen po? Tapat po ngayon, 2023, we are all excited to that new things in life. John Piper said, 
God is always doing 10,000 things in your life, but you may be aware of only two or three of them. Totoo ba yun, pastora? Yes. Pwede yung marami nang ginagawa pala ang Lord na initial steps for your breakthrough. But because your heart is wrong, yung mga nag spring up, yung mga lumulutang na opportunity, lumalabas, lumalagpas. Sino po dito gusto magkaroon ng sarili nilang bahay, taas ang kamay? Hindi na nagre-renta. Tamo, daig pa kayo ng bata, tumataas ang kamay. Alam niyo nang magbayad ng mortgage. Taas po yung kamay, magkaroon ng stable job or even great business this year. Kumalakpak po. Ang sarap po nang hindi ka na nangangamuhan. Ikaw na ang nagtatrabaho at ikaw na nagbibless ng manggagawa mo. God is literally moving right now. Kaya pagka natutulog ka sa pansitan, iwan ka. Naalala niyo po pag naglalaro yung mga bata at talo, uh, hindi ka sa iwan ka. I, di ba? Ang sarap po before the end of 2023, sa December po, January pa lang o December na si Paz. Lahat tayo magkikwentuhan ng praise report. Lahat tayo nagkaroon ng breakthrough sa buhay natin. Amen! Give a hand to the Lord! God is moving right now. That's why in Isaiah 55 verse 9 to 11, I want to read it in the, the message translation on my next slide. It says there, I don't think the way you think. food for the hungry, so will the words that come out by my mouth not come back empty-handed. They'll do the work I sent them to do. They'll complete the assignment I gave them. Kahit po buto, inutusan niya ng Diyos na tumubo, hindi yan babalik na ganyan lang siya. Inilagay po tayo ng Lord sa mundong ito dahil alam niya may purpose ka. And all of us will spring, spring up and bloom like what? A very productive and powerful Christian. Amen? Napakaganda pong message nito. When you're going to read this Isaiah 55 verse 9, I love the message. Sabi niya, I don't think the way you think. Honestly, let there be, sabi po ng Lord sa Genesis 1.14, And God said, let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate day and night. Lahat po ng sinabi ng Lord in Genesis chapter, chapter 1 in the creation, naganap. Nalobat ba yung day? Nalobat ba yung night? Hanggang ngayon, may day and night. When people make a promise, even our spouse, even our children, or even our loved ones, hindi lahat ng pangako magaganap. Pero kapag ang Diyos ang nangako, magaganap yan at hindi mawawalan ng kaparaan ng hindi maganap ang bagay na pinangako niya sa atin. Amen? It will not live empty-handed. When God gave you this promise, embrace it. Hindi yan, lalaba, hindi yan babalik ng walang kaganapan. Amen? Hallelujah. And then the next thing, do you not perceive it? God understands our struggles in believing and perceiving. Madalas sabi natin, to see is to? To see is to? Believe. Parang takot kayong sumagot. Yun po yung alam natin. Pag nakita ko, tsaka lang ako maniniwala. Naniniwala kayong may hangin? Amen. Nakikita niyo yung hangin? Hindi. Sometimes, ah, ibang hangin mo ata yun. <clears throat> God understands our struggles. Alam niyo po, alam ng Diyos yung low, low moments natin. Alam ng Diyos yung peak moments natin. God understands our struggles in believing and perceiving His purpose. We have difficult uh, time seeing or perceiving the hands of God. Pass, opposite yung nakikita ko sa pinagpipray ko. It is not what I want, it's not what I think. 
What is happening is totally different. Then, Pastor, you're telling me to believe. You're telling me to have faith in God when things are so opposite the way I expect it. Now, trying to the circumstances. Gusto ko pong bingin ko ito ng punto. We have difficult time seeing or perceiving the hand of God at work in our life because those trying circumstances incline us to look inward instead of instead of upward and outward. Madalas hindi po natin ma-perceive yung ginagawa na ng Panginoon dahil nakatingin ka saan? Ako. Ecology. Ito kasi gusto ko, Lord, eh. Ito kasi ako. Ito ako, Lord. Akong ako ito. O di ikaw na. Yung gusto mo, yung gusto mo mangyari, eh. But you know what? For us to perceive greater things God preferred for us, start to look what? Upwardly and outwardly. Ang lahat po na mga pangako ng Diyos, magkakaroon po ng kaganapan. Minsan, no, meron kang... Sana nag-aral ako para hindi ako ganitong nag, nagpapalit ng diaper, nag-gaganito. Sana ito na yung karir ko sa ganitong, sa Pilipinas, ganito ako sa ibang bansa, tapos pagdating din sa Canada, zero. Why thinking of that? I remember, just to have a short testimony, it is so hard to, to, to start up here in Canada. Taas ang kami nagsabing madaling nag-umpisa sa Canada. Diba? Ayaw nyo nang sumagot dahil totoo. Ang hirap. When... When the Lord allowed us to migrate here in Canada, nabanggit ko na po ito previously, but just want to emphasize that God is doing greater things. Hindi ko makita yung ginagawa ng Lord because all I want is what I feel inside of me. So I went here in Canada, working with a good job experience in the Philippines. Then I started here to work as a cashier in Superstore. So it's so hard because... In the Philippines, you have your office, you have your staff, and everything. Pero ang opisina ko dito, Superstore, yung, kahe, yung kaha. Tapos magbubuhat ako ng pagkain ng aso, pagkain. so hard. Hindi mo matanggap. And then, because of that kind of inward feelings that I cannot see, things God is doing, I cried to the Lord, Lord, you said, magiging okay kami dito. Ang saya pa naman namin, landed immigrant. But what I am doing, di ko kaya tong ganitong trabaho. And what the Lord spoke to me, just open your eyes. I'm ministering to you, I'm, I'm talking to you. So I just keep praying to the Lord. And then to cut the story short, may pride pa rin. Ayaw ng ganitong trabaho. I applied as a daycare teacher. At least, maganda, may pangalan ng nakadugtong teacher. But my first assignment, when I did my job, Floating pa kasi ako, wala pa akong specific room. Una ko pong assignment, washroom. Pakilinis nga. So painful. There are times in our life, kailangan kang basagin ng Lord para ma-perceive mo yung gusto niyang ipagawa sa'yo. Do you agree with me? Babasagin tayo ng Lord. Until such time, you will see the way of God, not your way. Give a hand to the Lord. And I cannot see the beauty of that life. Hawa ko po yung panlinis ng CR. Alam ko nakikinig nanay ko ngayon. Tumutulo po yung luha ko. Hindi ito yung trabaho ko. Miyak ko ako. And the Holy Spirit gave a sweet message in me. And I started to cry. Alam niyo po yung message ng Holy Spirit. How can you understand the people, the contract worker here in Canada? if you will not go down to their level. And that sweet message of the Holy Spirit, immediately, I felt warm all over my body. And I said, sorry, Lord. Pagkarinig po ng mensaheng yon, ginanahan ako maglinis ng inodoro. Sabi ko sa director, meron pa bang lilinisin? And from then on, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, impressed to me. I understand I work part-time in Superstore and a daycare teacher. That then, the life group of Sherwood Park started. Mga Pilipinong nakikilala ko, that's where I started to give flyers, share the word of God, and look how we are right now. It is for God's glory. God needs to break us into pieces for us to perceive His ways and not 
our ways. Taas ang kamay ng gustong durugin siya ng Panginoon for a greater things in her life. Give a hand! 1 Corinthians 2, 9, 10. It says here, But as it is written, What no eye has seen, no ear heard, nor the heart of man imagine, what God has prepared for those who love Him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. Kailangan muna tayong basagin para maintindihan natin ang pagkilos ng Holy Spirit. When we are broken, when heart is broken, we can immediately absorb the message of the Holy Spirit. Kaya lahat po ng kayabangan, lahat ng kay sa atin, kailangang tanggalin muna ng Diyos so that His plan will come out in us. Amen? What a wonderful message of God na kailangang may perceive natin yung gawa ng Diyos. God understands our struggle and believing. Take note po mga kapatid. Namely, that, that what we call open times are difficult times seeing, perceiving God. Kasi alam niyo po, ang gusto po ng Panginoon, hindi tayo magyabang eventually when we become successful. Ah, kaya ako nagkaganito dahil sarili kong kakayanan. My, my encouragement in here is that gusto ng Lord i-forfeit lahat ng kayabangan natin because His glory must be revealed. 1 Corinthians 2, 9, 10. Mga bagay na hindi mo nakikita, mga bagay na hindi pa inilalagay sa iyong puso, not even man had thought in their mind, God will reveal it to you. Kung dati ka lang tagalinis, wag nating langin. Kung tagalinis ka, later on, ikaw na may mga empleyado. Amen? God prepared greater things for us. We just need to perceive it. By means of what? God need to crush and break us down first. Amen? Then, I am making a way. Can you say it with me? I'm making a way. Before any circumstances, I believe, comes in our life, it is first goes to the providential hand of God. When Satan touched Job, there is a providential hand of God. Sige, basta huwag mo lang siyang papatayin. I'll give you the chance. Who recommended Job to be tested? It's God. Our God. Amen? God recommend, okay, test Job. Kaya naniniwala ako, lahat tayo, kaya pinadadaan sa pagsubok, highly recommended tayo ng Diyos dahil alam niya, magtatagumpay tayo. Amen? The hand was pierced for us in the past. Kamay po ng Diyos ang ipinako sa krus. It was pierced out of love. Is holding us in our pain in the present. Kung nasasaktan ka, kinuha niya na lahat ng sakit ng nararamdaman mo and working for our good in the future. God is using repetition to create needed. Amen? What you call the needed, no? The needed emphasis. Kaya, Lord, bakit ako kailang bumalik uli? Lord, kala ko graduate na ako, but oh, kala ko ito ng answered prayer, but bakit ako uli babalik? God sometimes need to put, that, put us to the uh, original, the origin. So that God will give emphasis on your life. He's not going to leave you for now and then get involved into your life. I'm telling you, sa panahon ng failures po ng buhay po natin, kasama po natin ang Panginoon. God is just watching us on how are we going to respond. God is using repetition to create needed emphasis. Kaya pagka pinababalik-balik kayo ng Lord sa sitwasyon, it doesn't mean God is trying to pull you down. God wants you to understand something. Kailangan ma-perfect natin. Romans 8, 28. And we know, what is that says? That for those who love God, all things work together for? For those who are called according to His? Ibig sabihin yung work together for good. Positive, negative, hinahalo yan ng Lord. Ginigisa ng Lord yan. Sinasangkot siya ng Lord yan sa buhay natin so that something will come out greater and bigger this year for all of us. Give a hand to the Lord. Amen? 
I am making a way, not your way, but God's ways. Maybe some of you decided to go to another profession or course or further study this year, go. If God is opening this opportunity na nag-aaral kayo ngayon, go and use it for God's glory. And finally, the verse says, away in the wilderness, a stream in the, land, in the wasteland. You know what? God oftentimes put us in a position where we are weak so that He can be strong for us. Kaya nga, ano po yung kanta? And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what? The Lord has done for us. Give thanks. God always put us, most of the time, in the position that we are weak so that we can gain strength from God, not from us. He puts us in the place that are incredibly difficult and improbable so that He can put His grace and glory on display. Tingnan nyo lang po, malapit na po si Paz. Ang gusto ko lang pong ipoint dito, the bigger the obstacle, the bigger the display of God's glory. Do you agree with me? The greater the circumstances, the greater the difficulty, the greater the obstacle of life, the bigger display of greatness when you overcome the problem. Kaya kapag nilalagay ka ng Lord sa sitwasyong ayaw mo at sobrang bigat, humanda ka sa matinding katugunan that His glory will be revealed. Amen? Parang ayaw mo nang mabuhay. Pero ba't ka linalagay ng Lord doon? It is not your strength because this time, whatever your situation, I am going to make my way. Hindi po yung kanta sa video okay. I did it. Ma. Alam niyo po pag kinakanta yan sa video okay, di ba ang dami yung namamatay? Sa amin po, sa tundo, pag lagi ho yung piniplay sa video okay. I did it. By way, maya-maya ako, may mamamatay na. Either nasaksak dahil sa sobrang... Kaya nga, their way. But this time, we will do it in God's way. Amen? Give a hand to the Lord. This is how we can have hope in the valley and desert life. I don't know exactly what you are going through, what kind of wilderness you are in right now, but God will make what? A wasteland, daanan. God will make possibilities because God is a God of impossibilities and possibilities. There is no negativities. All are possibilities. That's why Isaiah 43 verse 2 says, When you go to the deep waters, and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go to the true valleys or true rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Gusto ko lang pong bigyan ng emphasis ito. What is in the backdrop here is that God is saying, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Notice that God says, if you pass through the waters. Hindi nga sinabing, if you, kung sakali. So, ibig sabihin, expected, dadaan tayo sa problema. Amen. Hindi nga sabihin, if you walk to, no, sabi niya, when you are, no, when you go to the deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. Hindi conditional ang pagsama ng Diyos. He didn't say, if you threw the deep waters, but He said, when you go, ibig sabihin, when you are with God from the very beginning, sasamahan ka niya. Amen? Palakpakan nga po ng, ng Panginoon. Why? Because Christ, amen, have given us that He will, I will walk with you. Kaya ko kayo pinadadaan dyan, hindi ko kayo iiwanan, sasamahan ko kayo. I will not leave you. Ang problema po tayo pong nangiiwan sa Diyos. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, aminin. No? Kaya pag pumalpak na yung buhay, babalik sa Diyos, Lord, bakit ganito? Eh, iniwanan mo si Lord. Now, as I made my application, 
There are things to consider. Wow, Pastora, what a great promise. What a great, great promise. I am excited in this 2023. I am excited that this month of January is full, full of hope, filled with tomorrow. I am so blessed, Pastor, because this Isaiah 43, 18 is full of promises that I will win every battle. Amen. Pero tatlo lamang po ang ating tandaan before I end for my application. Things to consider to make greater things. One, understand transition. May transition ang buhay. Amen? Amen uba. May transition yan. Ang mga CYN, bago naman naging CYN, they started to become a midget. Di ba yung mga midget natin, di na ngayon nandun. Ay, nagsusulat na sila ngayon. Nakikinig na ng preaching. Nagsusulat. Palakpakan natin. Oh, Lord. There is a transition. For us to understand of greater things in our life, welcome transition. Amen? Welcome the transition. The most people complain to Moses that because of him, his walk of his promised land, pero made things worse for them. Ito po yung sa Exodus chapter 5, verse 1 to 22. I want to summarize it. That greater things will not come in a golden platter. Tingnan niyo po. When the enemy creates pressure, pinipressure po nila si Moses, ang ganda na tayo, okay na tayong slave doon sa Egypt. At least libre lahat, di tayo pinagtatrabaho pero kumakain, less pressure. Okay na, tanggap ko ng slave. You know what, this year, kung ano man ang mga ginawa ng kaaway sa inyo that you are being slave of certain things, this year palalayain kayo ng Panginoon. Amen! If you feel being captured by the situation that you don't want, pero you are emotionally battered by the enemy, today God will release you from that oppression. But you have to understand the transition. Sa transition po, bawal ang complain. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, bawal ang reclamites. If you want to understand greater things in life, instead of complaining, Give thanks to God. Give thanks. Hindi mo kayang baguhin yung anak mo, yung asawa mo, yung katrabaho mo, yung sitwasyon mo, finances mo. You give up everything, Lord, I'm, I'm surrendering. Then no, let God work. Ita transition ka ng Lord. Walang transition sa buhay minsan na masarap. Sometimes transition are painful. If you want to receive greater things this year, a hope filled of tomorrow, be ready with the transition. Sabi mo sa kadabi mo, ready for the transition. Ma-break ka, ma-crash ka, masaktan ka, that's part of transition. Number two, ready for the trials. Ang Isaiah 43:18 to 19 is not only great promises, but giving us a warning to be prepared for all the transition. Be prepared for the trials. The people will complain about being thirsty. In Isaiah, in Exodus 17, 1 to 4, nagko-complain sila, Moses! Wow na kami! This is when your spiritual growth produces great thirst. God seems to allow the thirst and the hunger to teach us where our provision truly comes from. Papadanas ng Lord, gipit ka minsan. Papadanas ng Lord na walang-wala ka para matutunan ng magtiwala, hindi sa sarili mong karunungan, sa sarili mong lakas, kundi sa Diyos lang. That is spiritual thirsty. Ah, kaya ko to, may rami akong savings. God will break us down. The next, be ready for what we call temptation. Who? Temptation. Wala pong temptation na nagpaalam. Ko ititem kita. Ang temptation will come anytime. As a warning for us to prepare for the arise and build this 2023. Be aware of the temptation. First, be aware of the transition. Be aware of the trials. And be aware of the temptation. These three T's are God's ingredients to build a better foundation for you to arise and build. The people complained 
About being hungry, God give them manna and told to get only what they need. Ano pong ginawa nila sa Exodus 16.20? Sinobrahan. Sabi ng Lord, kunin nyo lang yung kailangan, ha? Pwede naman pong mag-sharon pa rin. Pwede pa rin ang sobrahan. Basta kakainin po. Sila ho, ay magdadala ako ng extra. Baka bukas maubusan ako eh. Ano ang nangyari? Nagkaroon ng magots, di ba? Parang inuod. You know what? Why God give us a daily sufficient grace? Para araw-araw, makausap natin ang Diyos. Amen! Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Why God gave us our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Dahil ayaw ng Diyos maubos yung lakas mo sa mga bagay na hindi mapaparangalan ng pangalan niya. Trabaho ng Diyos na tayo'y pagpalain kapag inuuna po natin siya. Let God do His work and do your part. Daily. Hindi niya po sinabi, give us this, give us this day, uh, give us our monthly needs. Ang sabi doon, daily. Dahil gusto ng Lord, araw-araw tayong nananalangin, nakikipag-usap sa lahat ng pangangailangan natin because it develops our intimacy to God. When we develop our intimacy to God, there will be less temptation because your spirit are aware of everything. As I conclude, for He is the same yesterday in the former things as He is today in your transition, as He will be in your future. Sa simula, sa gitna, hanggang wakas, hindi magbabago ang Diyos. Sasamahan ka ng Panginoon. Never underestimate what God is doing behind the scene. Kung wala kang nakikitang maganda ngayon, I'm telling you, God knows, God cares, God plans, God gives because with God, all things are possible. Amen? And that is why, arise and build! Stretch forth beyond borders. Be ready for greater things. Shall we all arise for those who want to experience greater things in their life? I believe God is now preparing. Now, not tomorrow, but now. He's preparing greater things. Kaya ang atin pong aawitin sa Lord. Lord, forever yours sa iyo lang kami. Bakit po? When we trust things in this world, we will be defeated. But forever to God, we are in safe hand. Amen? Can we give our hands to the Lord? We will all arise and build. We will continue to stretch forth beyond our boundaries and be ready for greater things in life. Amen? Shall we worship and honor God tonight? And be ready. God is ready to pour out His blessings to make a way for greater things. I give my all to you. Yes, Jesus. Send me and I will go for you to the ends of the earth. I'll follow after you. I want the world to know. Yes, oh God.
continue to empower each one of them as they face as all of us face 2023 allow us to see and perceive things that you have prepared allow us oh god to stand according to the destiny you've given unto us give us lord the ability to think of greater things and not to dwell on the past but stand on the things that you have prepared lord wala pong luhaan sa 2023 walang magsasabing siya'y talunan every one of us will shout that we are all victorious we are going to arise and build lahat panginoon ang inagaw ng kaaway sa aming buhay lahat ng ninakaw ng kaaway sa aming buhay this year lord we will stand and be amazed of all the great things that you have done for us come on give a hand to the lord Maraming maraming pong salamat. We are all standing this year and ready to face 2023. Give us, Lord God, the same discernment, that anointing and discernment to be aware of all the transitions, the temptations, and the trials of life. And allow us, O oh God, to see that all these things will be part of our maturity, that we will not be shaken. Yet, though we may be shaken, we will not be crushed down because we know and we believe that we are, our faith is only anchored to you. Father, thank you. Bless every family we represent. Bless all the works of our hands as we give all your glory, the glory, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name.